Hey Anne Arundel County, it's Dan Dan the Pub Ed Man back here with another safety tips video. And what I'd like to talk about today is actually a great uh, service that we have here in the United States and in Maryland specifically, and I want to talk about the Maryland Poison Control Center. Um, their number is 1-800-222-1222. And they have a 24 seven hour hotline at that number. You can call them anywhere here in the United States. And they give you all kinds of information and how to do first aid and how to appropriately respond. If you think you've ingested poison, you think someone you know or any of your kids have come into contact with poison and they put you right in with an expert. Um, they can also get translators on the line if English isn't your first language. Um, but here's some tips for when you call them. Is there some information we, they'd like to have on hand or some questions you're gonna expect? And they wanna know any kind of symptoms that the person or yourself is showing, the name and phone number that you're calling from in case you get disconnected and they need to call you back, the age and weight of the victim, because that can depend and vary on doses and how much stuff they've taken, how bad it is. If you at all know the product or what kind of ingredients are in the product that are poisonous or toxic, that helps a lot too. Um, if you know the amount of product ingested, like if it's been a bottle of pills or an aerosol can or anything like that, the time it happened and any first aid measures that you've performed is what they're going to ask you and they're going to walk you through. Um, now talking about poison, especially if you have younger kids or you're a new parent, it could be something you worry about. And the best way to help this is to help prevent your kids or yourselves from getting your hands on it. Whether you have to lock it up or store your cleaning chemicals away, places where kids can't get to them because we know they're curious, they're going to wander around, they can probably get into places you didn't expect they could. Um, and just kind of keep them under lock and key or keep them in places they just cannot get into is the best way to prevent them from ingesting anything. Now there's four main ways that people come into contact with poison. It's either on your skin, in your eye, ingested or inhaled. And there's different ways to address all of these. And if you're ever quite unsure, call that Maryland Poison Control Center and they can walk you through your steps. But if it's on your skin, what you're supposed to do is take off any jewelry or clothing that are contaminated and then take some lukewarm water and gently rinse the area for up to 10 minutes. Now, if you got it in your eye, once again, if you have glasses or anything like that, take them off. Um, and you're gonna fill up a glass or a cup or something with once again, lukewarm water, just lukewarm water, no soap or anything in it. And you're gonna gently pour it into the eye. You're not gonna poke the eye. You don't want to forcibly hold the eye open, but you are gonna request the victim to blink as much as they can to help kind of wash those chemicals or anything out of the eyeball. Now, if it's been inhaled, that can be very dangerous, especially with cleaning chemicals and stuff like that. You wanna get the person and yourself out of the area as quick as possible so you don't harm yourself or you don't fall victim as well. Open as many windows and doors, get some airflow if you can get them outside into fresh air. Um, and then once again, call that Maryland Poison Control Center number. And then lastly, if ingested, if it's pills or they drank something or anything like that, what you wanna do is gently try to um, towel out the mouth with a paper towel or a cloth or something and give them a little bit of water. You don't wanna put your fingers down their throat, give them any kind of home remedy or medicine to make them throw up. Um, that's not recommended anymore. And um, once again, call that Maryland Poison Control Center line. And now if you're ever not sure to call 911 or them, always, if it's an emergency and you're panicking, call 911. We'll come respond to it. We might even call the Poison Control Center ourselves. But if someone's unconscious, if they're not breathing, or if they're seizing or having seizures, immediately call 911. Um, don't call the Maryland Poison Control Center first in any of those three conditions, because um, that's when we need to either start CPR, or get some medics there as soon as we possibly can. Um, thanks for your time here in Arundel County. Thanks for listening to me. Hope you learned a little bit. Hope your households are a little bit safer after this. Have a great day.